Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. So today uh, in this video we are going to talk about iPhone SE second generation which is being launched yesterday. So in this video we are going to see about the basic features and my recommendations whether you should buy this phone or not. So uh, before going into those cases, first we are going to talk about its specs. So basically it comes with 4.7 inches uh, with um, a retina HD display. So it is basically IPS LCD uh, capacity touchscreen with 16mm. So basically uh, if you ask me, there are two types of screens which is available. So the display is basically one is a molded display and the next one will be IPS LCD. So basically there is not a major difference in debate between this screen. So basically in IPS, uh, the photos which you take, you will get a good viewing experience and the photos will look more realistic. That is the main thing, the difference between IPS and AMOLED. And in addition to that, talking about 16M colors in the sense, um, whatever photos or videos which you see in the screen, uh, it basically comes with three primary colors, which is red, green and blue. So basically uh, here 16 mm in the sense 256 shades of each color. So each of your photos or videos will have uh, like what to say the realistic experience you will get in. So that is basically the main thing uh, which uh, iPhone has brought in this update, in this phone. And uh, while talking about Android, it works on 13, Android uh, iOS 13. So in addition to that, uh, talking about the software and so, uh, it works on A13 uh, Bionic. So uh, this A13 Bionic is basically uh, which is available in iPhone 11, iPhone Pro, 11 Pro and so. So um, the main use of this software is it gives good battery uh, performance and your overall phone performance. We can do multitasking, photo supports, portrait modes and so everything will be so much good for gaming experience, video surfing, radio streamers, uh, for like what is it, a plenty of things can be done so good with help of the software. So that is a cool thing about this phone. And while talking more about this phone, uh, I should uh, paka talk about PPI. So pixel per inch density is basically 326. So it is quite okay and uh, in addition to that uh, talking about aspect ratio here it is 16 is to 9 so aspect ratio in the sense your phone uh, length uh, your phone size is 4.7 it doesn't mean your screen size is 4.7 so please note that one thing so aspect ratio is the main thing your screen length so here your screen length is 16 is to 9 and uh, in addition to that, uh, talking about the RAM, it is 3GB RAM and it is available in three variants. So 64, 128, 256 and in addition to that, there is no SD card slot and no hybrid slot. So it is basically dual SIM and both are only SIMs. So that is the main thing and uh, in addition to that, this phone has basically dust or water resistance because of IP67. So this is the one thing and while talking about uh, the camera so here iPhone has again launched a single camera phone so it is basically the rear camera is of 12 megapixel whereas selfie camera is of 7 megapixels that is also okay and uh, in addition to that uh, talking about the next things is about touch ID so touch ID is basically the fingerprint which is available in the home button itself and in addition to that the naptic touch so basically uh, in day to day available phones there are two types of touch available one is naptic and the next one is 3D touch so the difference is basically in some apps or it's in some phones in some websites when you just do a long press like in the same play a pop up will start with the list of options so that is basically an optic touch whereas in 3D touch you uh, there will not be a possibility of list of options available so that is the basic thing uh, which is again brought in this phone and in addition to that um, talking about battery so it is basically 1960 mAh and in addition to that it is fast charging with 15 watts and um, in addition to that like what is you can just charge from 0 to 50 percentage in like 30 minutes so that is one thing which iPhone has given uh, told us and uh, in addition to that talking about the rate sensors uh, it basically comes in three colors where red is so good 
so if you are interested to buy go for red that's my suggestion and the price of this phone is basically 400 uh, 399 us dollars so basically 400 so uh, in addition to that uh, if you want this phone you can pre-order it on april 17th uh, which will be available on apple live websites so apple uh, online websites where you can just pre-order it and in addition to that uh, talking about these phone is um, basically um, like what is it the quick take is again there so basically that is not the issue so quick take in the sense uh, suppose if you are in a photographic mode and suppose you have to just go for video just long press it so that those things are again available so uh, the conclusion of this video is my recommendations is uh, if you're interested in game if you're interested in gaming interested in photographies this phone no openly no so if you are some people who is interested to buy iPhones but uh, your age limit is like 40 plus 50 plus where you are which is going to swipe the green color then this phone is good for you so that is one thing which I would say from my point of view on this phones looking on its specs so because the RAM is not so much capacity battery camera so it is like a mid-range lower than a mid-range phone so basically that's one thing which i would say before ending this video so uh, if you're interested in gaming or photographies video streaming too much of apps social media and so don't go for this phone on just trusting the word iphone so that is one thing which i would suggest so uh, like you can just go for the other top end models or go for some other phones depending upon your day to day uses so that is basically which i want to say before ending this video so uh, hope so you like this video if you like it give it a thumbs up so like this content i just meet you in the next video so till then peace from k squad bye